guys, so welcome to Vegas Vixen in the Kitchen. So today we're gonna to be making one of my favorite dishes, lemongrass beef skewers, or Cambodian beef skewers, whichever one you prefer to call it. Um, I actually made this on Master Chef season nine. Jenny, give us an insight to the dish tonight. I'm making my Cambodian beef skewers. The beef is tender, the marinade came through. Very sweet, tastes quite nice. This is traditionally a street food dish. Thank you. You're welcome. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. It was a super like great honor to be able to cook one of my favorite dishes for Gordon Ramsay, Aron Sanchez, and Joe Bastianich. So I'm super excited to share this recipe with you guys. All of these ingredients are already pre-measured and for the exact measurements, look at the description. So now we're gonna start off with our beef. I like to use skirt steak. Um, but it's up to you, whatever you like to use, your preference. Um, I've seen people use beef chuck, or you could also use flat meat, which is a, uh, another alternative to skirt steak. So I'm gonna show you how to cut the beef. And here's a little piece that I have. So you're gonna cut it about two inches going with the grain. And then we're like I said, two inches of going with the grain. And then we're gonna turn it, and we're gonna cut it at a bias going against the grain. This dish actually reminds me a lot of Cambodian New Year because during New Year at the temples, they always have it grilling and like people can just go up to the little stalls and buy it for like a dollar each which is a great deal to me and it's so yummy and then there we have it so we'll set that over here actually I'm gonna wipe my hands real fast and so now we're gonna start marinating it so I have this is Krung, which is a mixture of lemongrass, kefir lime leaves, garlic, and then crushed turmeric. So I have this and then we're just gonna dump it in there. And I love this because it's so aromatic. Um, it smells like really good. I love the smell of lemongrass and the kefir lime leaves are like amazing. And then after that, we're gonna add some chili paste with soybean oil and this is the brand that I like so I put that in there scoop it up and then we have a little bit of chicken powder some oyster sauce and then a little bit of honey. Get it all in there. One little drop, okay. And then we're gonna just marinate it with our hands. I have some gloves here because the turmeric dyes everything. I remember one time I forgot to use my gloves and my nails were yellow for maybe like a week. My nail lady was very upset because I just got my manicure done and I had to go back. But yeah, so I have my trusty gloves and now we're just gonna marinate it all together. Don't be afraid to get in there. Mmm. It already smells amazing. Like I cannot wait to grill them and eat all of them to myself. So once we get it all marinated and like all fully coated, we're gonna just stick it into a Ziploc bag. Like, it's just what I like to do. And we'll set it and let it uh, absorb the flavors and marinate for Honestly, you can do it however long you want. Um, 30 minutes is okay, the longer the better. 
actually, it was really hard making this dish on the show because I had 30 minutes to make it. And I was like, 30 minutes is how much I usually take to let it marinate. So it was really hard and very stressful. I had anxiety the whole time, but I got through it and it turned out great, but not great enough because I didn't get an apron, but that's okay. All right, so it looks like everything is pretty much combined and coated. And we're gonna get our plastic bag ready. And then we're just gonna throw it all in there. Everyone has, I think every Cambodian family pretty much has their own variation and version of this dish. Um, I, I feel like played around with so many different recipes and finally I found one that was simple enough and tasted great. I think I can honestly say I'm the only one in my family that makes this dish well. And so when we have any gatherings or whatnot, I'm the one in charge of this dish. And I'm proud of it. All right, so we suck out all the air and we set it aside to marinate. I'm gonna show you how to skewer it on also. And so I have some that's already skewered, but I'll show you how to skewer it. Um, you wanna soak your skewers in water so that when you grill it, it doesn't burn. So when you skewer it, you wanna make sure you kind of weave the meat through so it doesn't just fall apart. For those smaller kind of pieces, you can just uh, push it through but like a little bit the longer ones you kind of just weave it and That way when you grill it and you and use the tongs to grab it, it doesn't fall off of the skewer I forgot to mention earlier with the lemongrass and the kefir lime leaf and the um, turmeric, I put it all into a food processor. So what I did was I cut them thinly because they're all pretty fibrous except for the turmeric and I put them in a food processor and I finely chopped them in there. Um, if you're old school and you want to use a mortal and pestle, you can do that also. And I remember using this as a kid, helping my mom in the kitchen, sitting applesauce, crisscross applesauce and just pounding at the lemongrass. But you can make it your life easier by just using a food processor. So there you have it, um, how you skewer it on and my famous beef skewer recipe. All right guys, so it's time to grill. So I have the beef skewers out and you wanna make sure your grill is nice and hot. So we're gonna make sure it's hot. It's really hot back here, and not that hot back here. So we're gonna, or right here. So we're gonna do it about in the middle. So let's start putting them on. And I love the sound of that sizzle and the smell after. I feel so hungry. So like I said, this dish really reminds me of my childhood and going to a temple during Cambodian New Year, buying them with my mom and eating them with papaya pickle and papaya salad. It's a really yummy dish and I can literally eat it every single day, all day. So now I just leave it on and I'm pretty much just checking it from time to time and once I see a char, I turn it over probably about like two minutes or so because of the sugars in it or the honey I wish you guys could smell this right now you really get the lemongrass kefir lime leaves in there it smells delicious so I, you can't really see but there's the char and so now it's ready to turn and you just kind of have to keep an eye on it I can't wait 
like to eat this. So I say that this dish is my famous dish because every one of my friends and family loves it. Like I've had a friend tell me they dream about this. Like they dream about my skewers while they sleep. Must be really good, right? You definitely don't want it to steam and you want it to have like a high temperature. I wish you guys could smell this right now. Like if only there was like a smell cam, you know, it would be awesome. All right, so now it looks perfectly charred, perfectly cooked, and I'm gonna start plating. Let's garnish it with a little bit of green onions. And there you have it.